Terrorhawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. me, Doctor. I am powerless. Powerless? Even to mend your evil ways, Zelda. In that case, I have no alternative. Doctor, please! No more chances, Zelda. The Earth will not be safe until you are gone. Forever. Please! The game is over, Zelda. No! No! And so are you. Bravo, Moid! Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! Was he not excellent as the disgusting clone, Einstein? Yes, indeed. How do you do it, Moid? I have always had a small talent for mimicry. That was your voice, youngster. Oh, he is truly amazing. I don't talk in that... that stupid way. Of course you do, you gurgling idiot. Our friend is too modest. His is no small talent. Years of dedication have made him moid, master of infinite disguise. You are too kind to your humble servant. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet! Our plan is laid. I have a theory it's going to work. <laughs> okay, Tiger, if you want to see me beat you again, I want to see you try. Hero is ready for liftoff in Treehawk. Thanks, Mary. Hero, have a good fright. Ten ten, Doctor. You missed, Hawkeye. Maybe you're losing your touch. <clears throat> Maybe you're not. Treehawk, you have a 1050. 1010. But we should be getting our first sight of Bell's Comet. Any minute now. Uh-huh. You don't seem very interested in a comet that has only passed within terrestrial range once before, in 1328. Uh-huh. You missed that one, hotshot. Man. <clears throat> Present company accepted, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Mom. Space Sergeant. Yes, Captain Faulkner. Do we have a track yet? It's coming into range now. The comet will be visible in the eastern sky for one and a half minutes. 
I'm getting a double echo on the scanner. Check it. Confirmed. It is a double echo. Tiger, we may have a problem. I'm calling at 10.30. I'll be right there. Uh, pleasure before business, Hawkeye. Don't you mean... No. The way you were scoring, turning that thing off was a real pleasure. Report, Space Sergeant. Comet is still on course, but the echo is shifting. It's moving away from the main body. Identify fast. 1010. Positive identification. It's a Zeef. A Zeef? Lock onto it. 1010. Locking on to Zelda Earth Atmosphere Fighter. I've got something on the scanner. Coming straight for me. We've got it, Hero. It's a Zeef. Space Hawk's locked on. Open fire as soon as you can. Targeting now. <laughs> Dr. Neinstein, I... You're running out of time, 101. I can't fire, sir. Treehawk will be caught in the detonation. Hero, Zeef closing. Take evasive action. It's right on my tail. Closing fast. I've been hit. Main thrusters, 10-0. Hero, can you hear me? Just about, Dr. Neinstein. The Zeef's still on your tail. Hero, come in. Hero, do you read me? I read you, Doctor. Hero, you're in a crash dive at 60,000 feet. You must activate auxiliary motors. Activating... motors. Forty-five thousand feet. Speed? Slowing, but still critical, Mom. Hero, we've computed damage status on Treehawk. You're going to have to fly her manually. Tan Tan. Switching to manual. Twenty thousand feet. For space sake, level out. A tree hawk in control descent. He's done it. Launching Hawkwing. I'm out of fuel. I'm approaching an ice field. I'll ditch there. Ten ten. Hawkwing's on its way. He's down. We have crash coordinates. We'll be there in 30 minutes. 10-10, Kate. Who's there? Who is it? Identify yourself. Stop or I'll fire. Hold your fire. Dr. Neinstein? Yes, it's me. Doctor, am I glad to see you? I'm pleased to have found you. 
There was a fire hazard in Treehawk. Fuel spillage. I thought I'd better get clear. Very wise. Doctor, are you feeling all right? Nothing to worry about, hero. But you look in bad shape. I'm fine. Not a scratch. You will be fine. I'll give you something for the shock. If you think it necessary. I do. Roll up your sleeve. <laughs> You're the doctor. Ice has a cold serenity, don't you think? Over there. Hero? Can you hear me? Let's get him to Hawkwing. So, our plan nears fruition. We can prepare to launch the final attack. The final attack? Yes. With every ship in our fleet. An attack? What shall I wear? A new dress? A dress? You need an attire suitable for battle. Of course. A battle dress. <laughs> Zero, what are you grinning about? It's a... It's my birthday saw. Your what? Birthday saw. I checked on my date of manufacture. I was switched on for the very first time four years ago today at 0400 hours to be precise. I don't believe this. Zero, you weren't born, you were made. Get it? Yeah. Got it, saw. Get out of here. Saw. Hero, how are you? I'm fine, Doctor. I'd like to get back on duty. Well, if you feel up to it. Yes, I want to get back to Spacehawk. Are you sure that alien ship crashed? Straight into a glacier. Anyone aboard would have been killed instantly. All right, Hero. Get back on duty. Oh, and uh, give my regards to those plants of yours. Uh, plants? Oh, yes, uh, I will. Welcome back, Lieutenant. As of now, you will assume control of all operations on this ship. Yes, Lieutenant. Does that mean... And you will obey no other instruction except my vocal command. I control the ship and obey only your voice? Exactly. Sir, you said it. I said what? Exactly. Exactly. I'm going on a tour of inspection. The whole ship. And get those plants out of here. They're dust traps. Dust traps? Something's wrong. Something's terribly wrong. <sighs> you weren't born. You were made. <laughs> made. Happy May Day to me. <laughs> Am I to conclude this is a day for celebration, Sergeant Major? Yes, ma'am. The fourth anniversary of my day of manufacture. Well... Congratulations. Happy Maid Day. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Leave that, you gluttonous wretch. 
Harbin jelly, my favorite. The fleet is prepared. Is this suitable for battle? Great mounds of dust. What do you think? I daren't tell you. Yes, it's very nice, dear. But now to business in hand. Launch the fleet. Let battle be joined. Zero, are you alone? What? Can we talk privately? What are you on about 101? It's Lieutenant Hero. Oh yes. And what about the lieutenant? I can't explain it, but I think Lieutenant Hero isn't Lieutenant Hero. Space Sergeant, you will not contact Hawknest in any way. Is that understood? Yes, Lieutenant. He must be sick, sir. Probably needs scrapping, but that's what he said. Lieutenant Hero wasn't Lieutenant Hero. Ridiculous. Maybe not. Kate, this is a 1050 for Hawkwing. I want you to search for the wreckage of that alien ship Hero said crashed on the glacier. 1010. Lieutenant, I have a contact. It looks like the whole of Zelda's fleet. Thank you, 101. But, sir, we should lock onto the target. Don't tell me what to do. We're picking up a massive signal. Spacehawk must have it. We have to assume Hero is some kind of replica. Space Sergeant 101, this is Einstein. I'm giving you a direct order. Open fire. You obey only my command. Fire immediately. Obey orders, master and slave. Humans must be obeyed. He shorted out, sir. The space hawk is neutralized. Nine Stein and his sniveling pack are at our mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Something's very wrong. The space aeroids are programmed to fire on command of Space Sergeant 101. But with 101 out of commission, we're in deep trouble. Saw, so, there might be a way. Try it. Saw. So. This is Sergeant Major Zero, calling 101. And all you lovely space heroes. You all know me, lads. And today is my maid day. Get on with it, Zero. So, now, I've never lied to you, lads. In fact, I'm programmed not to lie. As we all know, there are ways around that particular circuit. <laughs> Zero. What I mean is, I would never deceive any one of you. Zelda is launching a massive attack. I want you to open fire! Hold your fire. Men, the honor of the regiment is at stake. A regiment I am proud, proud to lead. Sound the bugle, let the tunes of glory Ring in your ears! I'm with you, Zero. Stay right where you are. This is Space Sergeant 101. Open fire! You told us we would be safe. Retreat! Retreat! Oh this is terrible! I curse you, Nine 
Einstein. Turn the fleet around. Sergeant Major, you were marvelous. Yeah, he should get a medal. A medal, sir? Oh, yeah. I don't deserve it. Not you, Zero. I'm talking about 101. He really saved the situation. 101? You bugger. We're overflying the glacier. The Zeef didn't crash. Scan indicates one human life form in the area. It has to be Hero. The real hero. Yes, indeed, clone. You have my master of disguise in your space station. But I have your hero in one of the ice caves. And there are hundreds. We shall have to do business, won't we, Doctor? All right, Zelda. We'll make the exchange in the ice field. It seems the despicable Neinstein has failed to keep the appointed hour. I'm here, Zelda. I told you to keep out of sight. I did not observe your arrival. You weren't meant to. Let's get this over. I wear many faces, but have none of my own. This is your creation, Zelda? Mind, it is time to depart. One can feel a certain sorrow even for an enemy. <laughs>